So tomorrow we're going to be dropping the film trailer on the Hemings House Pictures Facebook page. Okay, so if you want to share the trailer and help us out tomorrow, um, take a look at facebook.com slash Hemings House. If you go to this website, which all of you have actually seen already, it's films.hemmingshouse.com slash wild. And this is our press release right now, but tomorrow the trailer will be on it. And down here is where you can actually put your email and then we will let you know next week uh, about other ways that you can help us. We might give some social media graphics and uh, things like that. And then in a couple of minutes, once we get this party started, this is where you need to be. So youtube.com slash C slash Hemings House. John, um, probably two and a half years ago, you called me. What did you call me about? Yeah, well, I mean, this film was a long time coming in my mind anyway. Uh, I, I thought of, uh, you know, having a, you know, creating a documentary about Willis and his music, um, probably 15 years ago. And, uh, I've rewritten it in my mind many, many times, but, uh, it was like, yeah, two years ago, I think that, um, we were already planning to, uh, to head to Goddard and, and do an event with Willis, um, where I thought maybe it would, you know, strike, strike while the iron's hot, timing felt right, let's do it. And, uh, and get some, some filming started anyway on this project. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I, I mentioned it to, to Fishman and, and, uh, he was into it, talked to Willis and then, uh, and then thought of you, Greg, because, uh, we met probably 18 years ago, um, when you were doing At some the Evolve Music Festival in Anaganish, Nova Scotia, if yeah, I recall, Nova Scotia. and then Halifax, you guys, right. Raisin I, Hill, I, you were playing bass in Raisin Hill and you played with Grand Theft Bus and The Slip, if I recall. And I was and actually I playing. I was playing guitar, but yes, it was. Okay, guitar, you know, guitar. And, uh, <laughs> and that filming went so well, and I saw that you went on to do a lot of a lot of other music uh, documentaries, and then also quite a few documentaries with your with your Hemings House uh, company. Um, so I just, you know, you were the th first person that I thought to call, and uh, it so happened that timing timing was uh, worked out. And uh, hi, Jonathan Fishman. Hey, Don, hey. how you doing, man? Well, I've been here, but I had I can I couldn't tell. I don't see me. I don't know. It's funny you've been in our living room for both of you for the last two years in our edit suites. It's been crazy. Oh, right. I got to tell you, no editor can make a film without you know drinking. From you can't this. do it without that. Yeah, and I think one of the uh, one of the starter uh, questions I should have before we start the film is, what's the deal with with Kazowitz being so much taller than everybody else on this mug? I was standing on a on my amp. Oh, there you are. I can see. Oh, look, I got off the split screen now. Let's see. How do I? Well, I, I still don't see me, but I don't know. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, this, this oh, is there you go. go. There hey, you go. how you doing, Fish? Good seeing you, man. But, uh, <laughs> figuring this stuff out. Yeah. Well, it's, it's funny. We've been, we've all been transformed, formed into Zoomites in the last, uh, in the last, like, two months. It's crazy, man. But, like, it's Ridiculous. constant technical issues. But we're all figuring yeah. it out, you know. It's all good. Hopefully we'll get Zoom bombed in mid, you know, filming here. <laughs> there you go. I saw some like guy waving his dick or something. <laughs> okay, who's gonna who's gonna do it? I'm, I'm looking at uh, about forty people on. Oh uh, yeah, there's too many guys on the panels. Maybe we need like a a gorilla farting or something. <laughs> So I, I still don't see Willis here, but what we're going to do is in a few minutes, we're going to get everybody to go watch the film. And while we're doing that, we will get Willis in. Uh, tooth or nail, we're going to figure this out. Um, Fish, why don't, why don't you talk to us a little bit about your experience doing this? Because this was a truly a day in the life. I mean, like we, we filmed one day and so much gold came out of it. But what's your recollections of the day? And a lot of people haven't seen this film or have no idea what this film's about yet. Well, Willis had, we had, I mean, this whole thing was, I don't know, John, were you, was it when we pulled together this whole, uh, um, uh, benefit thing, it was, it was sort of an afterthought. There was the benefit first and then there was the, Hey, why don't we film this? Right. Was that Willis? That's Willis. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll help him get on. So, cause what are you going to <laughs> and help him get on. Oh, who me? No, 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 Kazowitz. Go ahead, go ahead. I I just closed that window, so you can. Okay. You, you know, you were getting ready for for a. Uh, you were saying something about getting ready for the concert two years ago. Well, it was you know he, 
yeah, I mean, Willis, you know, he got sick and then we started this GoFundMe site and, there, you know, it was us. Well, we have the concert and then, you know, to raise a benefit for him. And then, and then it was, well, I got to know these guys in Canada who could film this thing. We should get it on, you know, and it was like, it all just kind of happened organically and right. rather quickly, you know, as, and, you know, it's, I mean, I know the post-production part of it is all very, a long process, but, you know, that initial raw material for, most really great things in life happen just they kind of happen like that they just sort of happen and it's like lightning in a bottle and then you and then and then people reflect on it you know there's just something that it affects you you know and then I mean, if it didn't affect you you guys wouldn't it didn't affect the filmmakers you guys would be sitting in the living room with this stuff for the last two years but i mean you know the thing about willis is i I, I don't know if it's possible to find another person that is uh, literally lives to rock more than this guy, like on all of the best in all the best ways. And, you know, and who's had as difficult a life as he's had and, and, and then, and come out with such a heart of gold and no bitterness and all that kind of stuff. He's like an exemplary human. <laughs> we, 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 we should all, we should all find the willisness in ourselves. The willisness. We'd all be, we'd all be better for it. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, and, you know, Willis and I have been friends, to, you know, he, I met him when I went to Goddard college and he walked into my dorm and, uh, Hey, you're the fish man. I heard you play drums. <laughs> I go, well, what do you do? I, I did. I, I told the story in the film, didn't I? I must have. I, you oh must yeah, have man. Watching this oh stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. But totally you know, right. it's just so crazy. And he just play. He just, you know, he pulls out his guitar, and you know, it's like I don't know. It's early September. It's it's really hot out. I just remember, you know, he had this leather jacket on, and I'm thinking, Jesus, man, he must be dying in that thing, and he unzips his leather jacket there's nothing underneath no shirt nothing he's just wearing his leather jacket and then he pulls out this beat up guitar with nails and the headstock for strings and he and takes off his uh and i notice on his arm that there's there's the same homemade tattoo of the same guitar <laughs> which maybe if we're lucky here in this zoom cast we'll all get to see maybe we'll also we will make that the, the sacred tattoo but i mean i'm just looking at this guy and then he starts going for it singing wild and it was like a guy with a whole stadium of people in front of him like in his mind you could see like fifty thousand people and you know and it was just like oh my god you know this i mean this was the real deal this is not someone just playing music for a hobby I mean, going, going back to, to, to um, you know, when we started talking about this, uh, you know, doing this. I mean, it was like a month before the gig. I think. Hey, I, I just declined Willis calling me. He's like calling me. Oh. I just declined him. I like, <laughs> we, we will. <laughs> okay. We got to find a way to get him on here. But no, I just wanted to say that, you know, when, I mean, it was really weeks that, that we pulled this whole thing together. Um, you know, it was originally the idea was just to like, you know, let's just get a film crew there if we can. Um, just for that day, I, you know, Willis is not, you know, I mean, he's not a shy person, but I had no idea even how, you know, like how he would do, you know, that day he, as soon as the cameras started rolling, that guy had the crowd of 50,000 people in his mind. It was just instant, like superstar. This guy could just, you know, talk to a camera like he was talking to one of you and it was amazing. All right, should I take this call? I shouldn't take yeah, this yeah. call. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we'll, we'll, we should we'll start. Why don't, we, why don't we roll the film and, and, and come back to uh, uh, yeah, the um, Yeah, John, put yourself on uh, mute. So, um, hey, guys. So I'm going to show you again <clears throat> how to go to um, the YouTube. And I would say it's 817 where I am right now. So if you guys can go here. And the film is 30 minutes long. I'm going to keep this Zoom chat open. And I think Fishman and Koswitz, you guys and I, will just stay here. Um, we'll watch the film as well. But like, let's just stay on as, uh, as panelists. Um, and then when we get back, let's just keep on jamming and, talk, and, and talking about uh, what's happening. And hopefully, we'll have Willis on here at that point. And um, John, give me a call if you need me to help make that happen. All right? 
Hey, everybody. So I figure most of you are uh, finished the film. If not, you probably have credits rolling right now. Um, so I really hope you dug it. Like, um, got a whole lot of people sending me texts. Thank you for that. Um, just as people are just wrapping up, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to my team, uh, James McDonald, who was our DP, and our second camera and sound uh, uh, master was Bruce Ledro, who's on here right now. Hey, Bruce. Hey, James. Steve Foster, Megan Thalelson, thank you for producing this. Tim, thank you so much. Tim Davidson for the sound mix. Laura, thank you so much for being an incredible editor with me on this. Oh my gosh, what a, it's been, it's been two years. <laughs> Enough said, like there's been a lot of revisions and you are a rock star. Uh, and Adam Kemp, thank you for uh, the color correction. And of course, with my partners uh, in this, uh, John Kazowitz and John Fishman. So um, John's, why don't you guys pop back on and I'm going to um, find Willis and bring him on as well. So. Uh, as I do that, pop on, guys. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can be successful with, with I just brought let's see. Willis. Okay, hey, hey, there we go. There we go. Okay, I, I don't see you guys, but I kind of hear you. So, uh, we, again, uh, hey, Greg, can, right. you, can you promote me to uh, share video as well? Yeah, there we go. We're all going to learn the Zoom thing. I know it, right? Uh, co-host, yes. And I'll do the same thing to Willis, make co-host. Um, yeah, here we go. Here we go. We got this. Okay. So uh, what do you guys think? Fishman, while, while I'm trying to get Willis on, what did what, you feel the uh, the final flick? Uh, well, I'm uh, because of my technical difficulties at this end, I only am 11 minutes in. <laughs> and I, I heard, I, I so far I love it, <laughs> but I'm only 11 minutes in. I've got it on pause, and then I was like, why can't I get sound back on my phone? I realized it was connected to the headphones that were laying on the bed because I was watching the, the movie through the computer, like through the speakers. So, uh, the so best. Yeah, Listen, I'm so. gonna keep this YouTube link up all night, uh, and don't worry, I'll be sending you a, a link direct anyway. But uh, we're gonna be releasing this to the world next week on the same uh, YouTube link as well next Wednesday. Um, so Fishman, I'm, I can't wait to hear your final thoughts after you watch the whole thing. <laughs> um, uh, Willis is there. He's trying to get the, he's trying to, get, yeah, I hear him. All right. Let's give a round of applause everybody for Willis. All right. Hello. Hello. Willis, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> Willis, we, we, we hear you, man. Can you see hey, me? see you too, you ugly bastard. Fuck you, Fish. My eyes are small as we are. <laughs> hey Willis, Willis, you turn your head, turn, turn your head to the left, Willis, so we can see you. There you go. Yep, there you go. Okay, that's good too. Right, right there. How you doing, man? <laughs> not, but I'm not great. I might have to get on the toilet any minute. Right now, I'm holding in a little. It's like, of course, I need to have to go on as soon as I'm on the toilet again. Yeah, it's man. Well, anytime you gotta go, we'll just, uh, we'll just take the camera off for you. Okay. Uh, yeah, this really sucking. I tell you, I got one week to go through this hell, and I decided not to take that. Uh, take the uh, anything that causes uh, constipation anymore. So this is my painkiller. Uh, oh, you got you did, you you're gone down the. Uh, well, you know what the heck. Like, uh, well, I still can control it though. That's the thing. The CBDs do amazingly control the urge. I don't have the urge to drink. It's like I could have went without the vodka if I didn't have the pain, you know, last night. For all I cared, you know, it's like I don't have the craving like I used to. So yeah. that's the magic of CBDs and stuff. People don't realize how powerful this stuff really is. <laughs> Yeah, well, Willis, why don't you tell us about that, man? What what have you been doing in the last? I mean, like you and I have been in touch for the last two years, but uh, to to keep yourself uh, keep your spirit up, I'm seeing you on Facebook all the time, jamming, uh, putting out videos, and all this, and you know, not what's too much because I have to lean on the desk, which is both my hands are numb now. It's hard to even open a tea bag now, and I ended up crying it the other day. I lost it because I dropped a whole cup of coffee, and I just just lost it the other day 
I couldn't even open a bottle of prune juice. It's like, what the hell, you know? It's, I had to wait for a friend to come in and open a prune juice for me. And it's really, really getting to me when I, it's like, I can't be this weak. <sighs> yeah, man. Well, I try to build up my Willis, before. you know, Willis, so. I, w I wish you'd be a little more honest and forthcoming. <laughs> in general, as a person, you know? It's always been... <laughs> It's always been your weak, your weak point. You're just so, uh, you know, you just so, so, you know, you can never really tell what's going on with you. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you try to film a band with a bad drummer. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. As, as much pain and discomfort, but still the wit is sharp. Well, I mean, that's as I was... Guys, great. Uh, John and Greg, have you been, you know, have you been aware of, have you been in touch with Willis much in the last few months and stuff? I mean, you oh, know yeah. what's going on and everything? Yeah, yeah, we, we're, uh, we're in touch. Hey, Willis, I'd say every, every few weeks we're, we're touching base and, uh, yeah. and uh, also checking out, uh, you know, Willis's music on Facebook, which everybody on here should check out. You know, make sure you find Willis on Facebook because, you know, your music's make awesome. Video too. What's that, Willis? And please share the videos too. Yeah, exactly, uh, man. They're wicked. I try, I try to share everybody that I know's videos just to help everybody else, even some people that I don't know. Like Tim Brick's a good guy. I don't really like country, but but I know him, so I promote his by sharing the videos too. Like, but he used to be in a band called Black Hills Railroad. I got a tape of it somewhere. Cause yeah, he would was in the band that band, um, and a guy named Bowser too. Uh, he used to work. I think he was in the band. Was uh, at the store in Barry called the Hippie Hideaway. I kind of missed that place. Little teeny head shop. <laughs> so Willis, say, hey, man. One thing I, I was wondering. We're going to release this film to the world next week, at Wednesday. And we've uh, got about thirty six, thirty seven people on here, who are on here strictly to help us push and promote. Cool. What's 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 your goal, man? Like, what what can doing we do the with, devil's work? Doing the devil's work, you know, man. What, what what can we do with this film? You know, like I always thought we should put a GoFundMe up and and uh, help you out with something. So that would be good. Yeah, I I, I could I just like Facebook has a fun thing too, but they require your bank information, and I don't feel safe by giving Facebook that information. So I just ended it. But one guy did get raised seven hundred for. Her for me a while back but that was very nice of them but like it's very very easy to get hacked so i don't trust doing anything like that online mm, but if, if if we can do that um that would be awesome like i was I already thought a fish could be in charge of it because it's got to be somebody that's not on the system so i don't get in trouble and the my idea when the original ones was try to hopefully <laughs> save up 200,000 and then get off the system and hopefully get all set, you know, find a place and do that. But that didn't quite work that way. So, <sighs> but from what I hear, I might be having the house. So hopefully things are going my way as far as that. As far oh as yeah, dude. Yeah. I talked, I had a great conversation with Alan for like four hours and we caught wow. up and everything and he's four hours. Yeah. Uh, it was crazy. It was like well, all kinds of, sections of my memory came back that I yeah didn't even know were there anymore and uh so that was that was pretty cool and uh yeah he's 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 very um very helpful and yeah because he's, 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 he's being he's being he's being really awesome and really helpful and, and it's really it's great that's good yeah so you were I think we're gonna you're all set into that house he was talking about um it's down the road from you there and you don't, know, little, you don't know whereabouts are. Yeah, I'm not even sure. Yeah, it's it's right between Maplefields and uh, it's like where uh, from your corner, if you go down toward Maplefields, I think it's like the he said it's like the third house on the left. It's like a little cape. Uh -huh. And and uh, and it's like between you know it's about halfway between Maplefields and Positive Pie, basically. It's a white building. So you got everything you need. I I don't I know what color it is. He was gonna go. He had a little bit to finish with the bathroom and stuff, I guess. But it's all. Oh, there's a young um, house. I don't. I doubt it's that house. That's a big house. That's huge. Well, it's a it's a cape. He said it was a cape. 
What's that? That's like a one story, I think. Isn't it Cape one story? Uh, <laughs> I wish I answer. knew. I thought maybe I thought that was like here on the panelists could tell us or somebody. Yeah, maybe it's it. Yeah. Well, at any rate, I think you're. Oh, you. well, actually, he, no. I think it does have. He mentioned there's two bedrooms upstairs, but there's a full situation downstairs. So if you're having trouble with stairs and stuff, you'll uh, be all right. Awesome. I love that. I how this ties into the film. Now I'm going to bring it back to the film for a second because yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like this. What this? At least the second time, or maybe more times, that Fitz, you've you've helped Willis like find a home. I mean, if we go back to that scene in the movie, uh, was it the first <laughs> time? Where he was living in Actually, I think I, I might have been. I didn't. I didn't know until now, of hearing other people's interviews in the beginning of this movie, that a Willis moved to town. I didn't know he moved to town. And well, because I came in like what eighty six, and Willis moved into town in eighty. So. No, I was, uh, I was in town for, since nine years old. I mean, downtown in the 80s, yeah, but up at Maple Hill when I was nine, yeah. Well, when I met him, he was living in his car, Buick LeSabre, 19, what, 1980? I did, a, I did have a Buick Skylark, yeah. White. Oh, Buick Skylark. Was it the Skylark? Well, it, it might have been the Chevy Biscan. It you, was the, I think it was the Bison, right? Wasn't it? Isn't that? I don't think, I don't think there is a Chevy Bison or Bison. I, but, I, but in the movie, there is a. So I think there should be a Chevy Bison. Yeah. It's, it's, it's Bison or something. Yeah. Well, you were living in your car and you were cooking out of Sterno cans, and I was like, "What do you mean?" And it's February, and the guy's like living in his car. And what do you mean you're living in your car? We're living in my car. So he started staying in my dorm room. Not quite. Because I had a girlfriend. My girlfriend Julia was letting me stay with her. So I was. So I was. Uh, so you stayed. He pretty much took over my room. Yeah. But but and then after what? Then you were, Trey was living in the apartment you are for yeah. for a little while. You were too, weren't you? Because you guys. No, were I never. Still, I got, never lived there. Yeah, you guys were supposed to take me. Oh, I was supposed to rock out with you guys or something. Um, but that's when you guys fooled me and took me to see Cass. All right, Fish, tell this story. Uh, tell the story, right? You and Trey kidnapped. <laughs> oh, is Trey part of that too? I can't remember who. It was like me yeah. and Trey. Trey. Yeah. And you. Well, we had set it all up. Wills was what? You were washing dishes over at Positive Pie or something at the time. Where, where, who were you working for? You had a, you, uh, lickety split by then. Yeah, you had a dishwashing job, a lickety split, and he was. You know, he was a good, I mean, Willis is a loyal guy, you know, he was, a, he was, he took his job seriously and he was very loyal to them. And, you know, I said, uh, we did, we wanted to keep it a secret. We went to his employers and everybody that it mattered. And we said, Hey, we're going to take, we're going to kidnap Willis and take him to see Kiss. You know, we'll put in our earplugs so we don't have to hear anything, of course, but you know, cause <laughs> you know, the music sucks so bad, but, but, you know, <laughs> No, I'm only kidding. And oh, apologies to Kiss. This is a little inside joke between me and Willis. I think your music's fine. Anyway, so uh, so we we get um, I, I we get you know we, everyone's consulted. Every, everyone's in on it, but we got to get him, you know, and and we get him in the car. And what we were going to tell, we were going to go do a recording session or something. We gave him some excuse, and we start driving. He got pretty upset. He's like, I got to be at work. They're not going to know where I am, you know. And he was like getting mad. And we really were like, yeah. fuck you, we're not going to tell you where we're taking you. And and we got, I don't know, I, we, we, wasn't it like once we were getting near the state line or something, he was just like, you know, I'm going to jump out of the car. He was getting really mad, you know. And, of course, he was reasonable about it the whole time. A bit of Southern Comfort had a little help with that probably. Oh, yeah, well, right, yeah. Well, we were giving Coke and Strawberry uh, Southern <laughs> Comfort. And, it, but, and anyway, but then – we we finally he was getting so upset about it we finally had to tell him look we we arranged it with lickety split they know what's going on but then he still was pissed because he didn't know where he was going he didn't like that he was totally uncomfortable and willis you had never been out of the state of vermont oh, at yeah, that point I, I, right out of the state a few times yeah oh you had okay okay california <laughs> oh all right well well see you learn something every day but yeah. But uh, so yeah, so we, so we told them we we're going to see Kiss, and for the longest time you didn't believe us. You're like, no. Well, no, because then we pulled up to the Pepsi Arena, and then I saw people with makeup. But at first I said, oh, it must be in the east. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And it was, and it was Ted Nugent opening too, and it, 
Yeah. And, uh, and what an asshole he turned out to be. <laughs> I mean, we little did we know, uh, but he uh, and and why don't you tell him, Willis? We're getting we're getting. Uh, Willis drank a lot of Coke and Southern Comfort. He was starting to feel not so good, so we went up to the seats. Not Rick, though, man, not me. I go, look, isn't Eric Carr's drum solo pretty good, though, even though you hate Kenneth? <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and then they uh, got to fight me, too, because I accidentally, because I saw some seats, I go, I'm going to go over there. And then as I bumped <laughs> this guy's girlfriend, and he wanted to fight me. But I was fired up, so I was ready to grab him and throw him across. Across the audience anyway so luckily the security guy came in like hey you go there you go back there <laughs> yeah and then the guy was willis had just finished throwing up that's the best part willis had just oh, yeah, finished puking all over the you, floor oh, yeah, having this yeah, argument you did no, just I, put my <laughs> hand in it i'm like gross man uh, no, no, no. that is a faulty sure. memory <laughs> so guys <laughs> just, <laughs> so so he pukes all over the place and the guy trying to kick us out of the aisle is is pushing along, and he steps right in it. Like as we're, you know, he's pushing. Come on, guys, you're gonna move uh, along here. And he's following. Is there any? I go. That guy just stepped because he's got a boot full of your puke. And, but you said something about that. You sure, you were like, well, well at least he, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I wasn't drinking. I was driving. <laughs> no, I didn't. Because I'm like, I put my hand in something gross. You know, I was like gross. <laughs> Check out Eric Carr's drumming. So, um, <laughs> Fishman, I, I, speaking of Pepsi Arena and Nick, Knickerbocker, um, that, that tell is. us about your first idea to get We're Bionic to open up for Fish in 97 or, well, or whatever it was. That was my idea, and I just kept nagging, basically, and it happened. <laughs> That's exactly that is exactly the truth. <laughs> exactly. Everyone in the band knows Willis and loves Willis. And, you know, and, and Willis had been asking us for years and years and years. And I can't remember who finally said, you know, actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's do it at the Pepsi Arena. I don't remember the, actually the details of that, but but he is correct. And he was like, hey, hey, how, why don't we open? <laughs> When's where Bionic could open for fish? <laughs> only, only, only six songs. Well, I saw my MSG for fish, you know, that's like, wow, well, doing MSG because Judas Priest, as far as I know, they probably still can't play because the fans fucked up and they got blamed for it. But Judas Priest also proved that they didn't need a MSG, which is great. Well, well Willis, just keep I thought, people yeah, like, yeah, get there. I, yeah I thought Judas Priest was your fault. <laughs> oh, good. Then I make good mistakes. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, so, yeah, so why am I hearing, I'm hearing a big echo here. Oh, that'd be, oh, oh, no, I, no. I got three, four, four different devices on. <laughs> well, then my daughter's asked me a question. What? While we're waiting here, I mean, if anybody, any of the attendees have any questions, please, uh, yeah. please post them or chime in. All right, I'm in a Zoom meeting. I'm in a Zoom meeting. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I lost you guys for audio for the last couple seconds, but uh, that's good. Yeah, does anybody, anybody on here want to ask Willis or John or John a question? And uh, if so, I'll, I'll pop you on here. And then, uh, you know, to respect time, maybe in 10 minutes, we'll, uh, we'll all say goodnight. But uh, on a Zoom thing. Can oh, from Nils uh, or Nils, what color was the Skylark? So it looks like it was a Skylark, guys, uh, and not a Bisson. <laughs> no, it was, it was a white car like that i had but the chevy bison was a green one that was over there by that this house I, i've stayed in a few different cars i had like a black ford falcon with red interior which was kind of neat station wagon i kind of wish i had it didn't have a license when i had it drove it on campus anyway illegally for the sake of driving and for being me and i'm gonna break it all <laughs> i guess <laughs> Nice, thanks, man, and uh, and thank you, uh, Nils, for the question. Okay, we got another one from Chris Martin and or Donna. Hey, Chris, where are you on here? <laughs> so, so Chris and or Donna said uh, thank you for your humor and the smiles on Willis's face. You all rock, and uh, Chris and Donna, thank you guys for 
uh, everything you guys do. You guys rock that night, um, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And of course, Chris just well ripping the leads on uh, Willis's tunes here. Uh, I feel I like you guys are all family now because we've edited you so much. I can't believe how good we did, man. I can't wait. I really want this vinyl album done like yesterday. Go <laughs> But with one red one red vinyl album and one blue one, I figure all together should be twenty one songs. I'm gonna have to dub one on from a video somewhere I got of uh because we didn't get to play it that much. Cause I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get to play uh we didn't get to play I don't want much because that was a really hard rocking punk rock run which would have been a great one to end with. Um, uh, well, Willis, we well, well, <laughs> well, well, um, you know the red. The red, uh, the colored vinyl actually historically uh, makes, it, it, just so you know, the re the colored vinyl makes it sound shittier, which I guess really doesn't matter no, because it, it it's your totally fucking music. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I step over the fish then, okay. <laughs> um, Willis, is your guitar close to you, buddy? Yeah, but there's no way I'm going to be able to hold or play one right now. Right now, I'm leaning, trying to stop. No myself. worries, buddy. Listen, I think this is a good place to uh, to hold, to say thank you and uh, good night for now. What we're going to do, uh, and Willis, we'll be in touch with you on, on how this is happening. Next week, we're going to let the whole world see this film. And we're we're really hoping that a lot of, a lot of good people will share it. We get a lot of questions and answers yet. I was hoping this last a while. Yeah, I, I, let me, while people are thinking of questions, let me just say, I just want to give a couple shout outs because uh, I see Chris Gowan is here and he was, uh, Chris was uh, the guy who came in like right at the last minute um, uh, to, to make the poster for the, uh, the, the, the ah, that, awesome that poster, poster. Was a, yeah, beautiful. So thank you very much, Chris, for, for doing that. I mean, that, that also made a cameo appearance in the film, but it was a it was really important, you know, like a uh, aspect to that day it was just a special yeah. special event and, and the poster was beautiful um yeah chris and uh i mean everyone who's who you know who's here too that, that's, that's played with willis and, and who also was in the film you know thank you so much for participating that day that's really great that's all let's all cheers willis nice where's, your mug? Where, cheers. Where's, your mug? where's your mug yeah i don't my mugs i got my mugs in the kitchen but i'll have to i'll have to, I'll, I'll have to. <laughs> Bump fist, a fist bump. Yeah. A nice sterile fist bump. So yeah. listen, if anybody's going through Plainfield, Willis, uh, last time I visited you, Willis, you've got a, a bo you know, boxes of the shirts and boxes of the mugs. So uh, buy them. Stop yep. by Willis's and get yourself a mug and a t-shirt. Yeah, man. It is. Uh, it, they it, are it, classic. You know, I've got two of these, one at work and one at home, and they are every single day. I see the three of you guys every single day as I drink my coffee. Awesome, man. <laughs> Well, I, I'm also wearing the Willis hat. Oh, we should have been invited. Oh, yeah, I should have been wearing my uniform. Sorry. I know, I've got to wear the uniform for every Jeez. vote. I uh, wasn't in uniform. And that's great the way you did that, too, just like Superman would with the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm, I've been sweating this whole time waiting for that moment. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Um, any, any last questions for anybody? Um, it, it, it feels like everybody's stuck on. Like this is a good group of people, and thank you so much, everybody. For oh, you know, there are a couple other questions in the in the Q and A section. Ah. See those, Greg. Oh, there we go. Jeez, look at me. I'm learning as I go. Thanks, John. Okay, so here we go. Megan, who is uh, one of our producers of the film, can we see a close up of the tattoo? What happened to the original um, tuning pegs that were replaced by nails? Uh. That's a close up, I guess. That's just as close as I can get for now. It's a that's actually a a Kramer Focus 3000, which I actually still have that guitar. I can't play it, but it's the one I opened up for fish with, so it's got sentimental value. <laughs> is that the one you is that the one you pulled out of your case when you met me? No, no but the one you're right that I did have one with nails in it, but it wasn't the aspirin. That one actually I had all the all the things on it. I'm not sure which one you saw that had the black one, but that day I had the Aspen though that had had all the pegs on it. But there was one that I did have like nails that were somebody else put them on, I think, or something. You can't forget the nails. I mean, you know, if it's, that was the that was the, that sealed the deal for me right there. <laughs> yeah. You're like I will I will drum for you for the rest that was of commitment. my life. Yeah, that's, that and, was and, that was he's committed. I I made you know it inspires commitment. 
Well, that's the thing I couldn't remember about the jacket thing, but it's like, that's what was happening was I kept dropping it, you know, and trying to carry it and I kept dropping it, put, tried to hold it, put it across the guitar case and carry it that way, but it kept dropping. So I just put it on and just fuck it and then walked into the dorm. And then that's where I saw you sitting there with that group of lovely ladies. <laughs> I love it. Well, this, I think there's a good transition to Chris Gorman's question. Willis, if you could play with any drummer, who would you pick? <laughs> Probably Fish right now, because he's very good. Uh, he's very versatile on that, plus he's my best buddy. And, uh, That's good I answer. I mean, other other drummers, I'm not sure. Other drummers, it's like, there's a lot of them. Like, I don't know. I, I think I'm a little biased on some things. I think Neil Perk might be a little overrated, but I could be wrong. But oh. still, but... but but it's like it's like. But you'd play with him. Judas Priest is good, but yeah, definitely. But yeah, um, let's see. I I don't know. Some people pick on Lars, but I think he's pretty good. The drummer Metallica. It's Lars is killer. Him. Yeah. And it's like wow. I thought it's like what are people saying? It's like he's pretty excellent. It's like wow. I didn't even think he was that good. You know, I thought you know, I'm thinking to myself because when I first originally heard Metallica, it's like. Screw that. Once you've heard Metallica, you've heard one album, you've heard them all, but I'm glad I smartened up and changed my mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we got another one from Bruce, and you guys remember Bruce. Bruce is our sound guy, the, the guy with the long, long hair, yeah. awesome rocker. Bruce hey, says, Bruce. Bruce says, uh, hey, Willis, hope you're, do you're, you're good, buddy. What are your top three albums? And I think that's a great question. Thanks, Bruce. Top, top three albums that I like, you mean? Yeah. of all time well my all-time favorite as a kid used to be the song yesterday by the beatles used to get up on a climb up on a little turn uh piano and put it on this little kitty record player a little 45 of yesterday it was scratchy but i used to sing to that uh let's see probably it's kind of hard to say to so many of them because it's like ones you didn't like before I'd probably say I'd probably have to have a wasp, a kiss, and a and a motorhead. Nice, good answer. Now, good if, selection. If, if, if those were the three, I was stuck, then that's all I could have, kind of deal or something. But there's so many, like like, I'm not sure what year it came out, but I thought it was a fairly new album. But Billy Idol's uh, "Devil's Playground" is an awesome album. He actually says the F word on it once. I go, whoa, because I like bought it and then I'm playing it on the way home next day. I play it on my radio. So I just say, whoa, I didn't hear that because you can get in trouble for that. <laughs> That's the thing, too. I miss doing my radio show. People yeah, I was going to ask about the radio yeah. show. You're not doing it now, eh? Yeah, no, I figure they probably know. I hope they give me my spot back when I'm ready to go. But I figure they figure I'm not there because of the stupid virus, stupid thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I kind of miss it. And yeah, but yeah, that's a place. If I get if I get the disease, that would probably be the most likely place I would pick it up. Would be at a radio station because everybody touches that microphone and those knobs. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point, man. And um, last question from Chris Gallen, Willis, and you, you kind of touched on this earlier. Uh, is there any particular musician or song that you heard when you were younger that made you so excited and wanting to learn to play music? Well, I had like, I traded like, I think my mini bike or something for my first guitar and something. And somehow I ended up with records and stuff. And the Beatles was in it, Led Zeppelin, all that. Kiss hasn't quite come a lot. So then I started to get into rock and roll. And then something, Kiss came along and something decided like, okay, I want to be a rock and roll star, you know. <laughs> of course, I did take it as. How bizarre. As uh, I did take it as serious as I should have back then, but but it's like okay, so it's like yeah, that's fun. Get the girls the money and everything, you know. It's like oh, of course that hasn't happened yet, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's coming, man. It's go. Listen, the film dropped. Now we've got to wait a little longer for the record for the for the colored vinyl. <laughs> yeah. Um, Fishman and Kazowitz, why don't you guys end it off with a few final thoughts uh, to people who are hanging out with us here? Go ahead, John. What do you what do you take? Select to choose. Um, 
Well, I'm just really happy that we had a chance to, you know, when we, you know, I keep circling back to this, to this last minute idea of, of, of getting a film crew to this. Where's yeah. Chris Martin? He should be part of this combo too. So oh, this, he's on, he's on here. Oh. This day in the life of Willis and, uh, you know, Willis was, was diagnosed with, you know, like before this event and we had no idea, you know, how he's going to feel that day. And it was a rough time for him. So we just struck gold that day. I think Willis was great. Greg and, and team, you guys just came through like crazy. I mean, you know, I think Greg and his team got there like super early in the morning and started filming. Yeah, thank Worked you. like 12 hours. And Willis, it's my turn. <laughs> it's never your turn. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and then they just then they just took took it and ran with it, you know. And that's the thing is that I think you know, Fish, you and I were just thinking like we're just going to get it recorded and just have it, you know, like you know, on the shelf for a while and figure out what to do with it. But uh, but I mean, Greg Greg put in a lot of hard work and, and his team to to make it to what it is today. And I'm just so grateful that. Thank you very much. Just seeing yeah, seeing you. Thanks, know, thanks guys being released. So thank you very much, Greg. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. 100%, man. Yeah, I, I would second that as well. That that was really amazing. I mean, it's what John says is true. We really were just like, let's get a benefit concert going. And, and it was John saying, well, we should film this. Do you know anybody? And I, I really didn't. Uh, with all the, you know, you'd think, I mean, uh, I mean, Fish has this camera crew that follows us around, all that kind of stuff. But it's sort of like I, I, I it wasn't a resource for me to tap to kind of right. to do that. And it, and and I, you know, it wasn't really. I, I just and then he's well, I have these friends, you know, and and um, oh, is Dan Archer on here? Yeah, he should be on here. Where is Dan? He, is he, he, was, he was invited. Yeah, I don't, I don't see him. He don't just see him texted on. me. He just texted uh, me. He's like, I didn't see. I didn't read. So I've come up. Oh man, I'll have to tell Greg. If I give him that address of the YouTube channel, he can go on there and totally, watch it. man. Yeah, just tell him okay, not to share it out just yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, so yeah, and that's and so yeah, I agree. I really thank you, Greg. I I was and I've been getting these little through the grapevine, like yeah, this is developing, this is going along. You know, they're editing in this. You know, John or somebody would, you know, or I get a little every once in a while something from you saying. You know, that, and then, you know, it's just, it's done, it's going to happen, and then this COVID thing happens, and this, I didn't even know what today's call was necessarily about. So, I mean, this is really just amazing. I mean, it's like a dream come true, really, that, that uh, uh, I think Willis deserves a movie. You know, it's an a, a interesting enough story there that it merits and that, there's not a lot of us as individuals merit a movie. Right. You know, and I, I think Willis does, you know. And, and not, I don't really know that there's any who can really put our finger on why. <laughs> but that's the thing is that there's so many other stories to tell. And, and I think that I was originally imagining this being like a feature length movie because Willis like has endless stuff to, you know, to, to, well, to share. A two hour movie kind of and, uh, concert footage. I mean, we got a 30 minute movie out of a single day of shooting. Like that's how amazing Will is. Right, that's amazing. Yeah, there's so many stories. Like, every, you know, we haven't even talked about like all of his albums from Lost Paradox, like Bleeding and Shark Sank, all the guest appearances and musicians on those albums, and all their ties to the Vermont music scene and beyond. Dan Archer. I mean, like, there's so many people who have been involved in like Will's musical history. It's just mind blowing. Well, let's use this as a, as a uh, opportunity right. to get interest in a bigger movie. Uh, Good thing I didn't keep my day job. <laughs> That's great, man. Good thing for your day job. <laughs> yeah, I would like to be a rocker instead. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Willis, you got to tell Job B he's gonna he's gonna make the movie. He really wanted to be in it. Yeah. Okay. So he he's in it. Yeah. So listen, that links up tonight, and um, you know, like we could choose just to leave it up if we want. Um. Uh, or we could kind of push it and pump I'll tell, it. I'll tell people about when the day, when, when is going to be the debut? Well, we're thinking Wednesday. Of, uh, we told in a press release Wednesday uh, next week, 13. That's when I'm going into the hospital. Are you going on Wednesday, Willis, or for, or for the next day, Thursday? Wednesday, Thursday's the operation, but they're going to get me in the night before, I think, which might make things easier. 
Okay, so when do you want it released, brother? Uh, as soon as possible, I guess. I mean, but, yeah, how about, how about, how about uh, what do you think, Kazowitz? Well, maybe a few days before that, because I think that the more people who are watching this and thinking of Willis and sending him love, I mean, that's what he needs going to the hospital next week. Yeah, because yeah. I'm kind of like, since I had a heart attack when I was 50, I'm a little bit claustrophobic, but the idea of staying in the hospital is uh, five days is kind of nerve wracking. The, the, uh, I'm kind of very terrified of the operation itself, too. I'm worried about not waking up, of course. But uh, yeah, so I definitely want somebody to, there. You know, it's like even my navigator, she was uh, got hurt. So I'm hoping she's there just to, for moral support because this hurts like really nervous. <laughs> yeah, man. What happened? Well, what happened to Diane? Uh, she hurt her back or something, but I don't want to get oh. too personal because I don't yeah, know yeah, yeah. the reality she, of that is with her being that she's a medical person. But yeah, I just asked her, I was like, I hope you're all right, because she finally called, but I hadn't heard from her. But she called today and I said, hope you're all right. I heard you were like hurting or something. So I'm glad at least it's not the disease, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, Willis, what about... Um... Well, then I'm supposed to do a rehab uh, after that and i'm not sure and of course i gotta find vape pens because i was telling my friend peter i don't know if i could go two weeks without the thc too because that's my medicine too and i do kind of need it but you're not allowed to smoke in the hospital which sucks yeah I'm thinking of breaking a couple of rules anyway but i don't know <laughs> i bring a little, little things like okay it's midnight nobody's looking drink some vodka <laughs> well you know, you could, if you, if it was released on the Wednesday, the day you go into the hospital, then, you know, you go in, you go to sleep, you have your operation. And by the time you wake up, you'll be an international superstar. Uh, so man. that's kind of cool. Yeah. So why don't we launch it Wednesday morning? Uh, I'm kind of bummed that it took cancer to get me here, though. I wish this all happened before the cancer did. And yeah. that's the thing I was hoping to make the video more about the about the band too, more than about the cancer at all. It's about raising funds for cancer at all. Yeah, well, you know what, man? There's there's more to this this story to film. We we just want to get this piece out. I want to see this be a feature film. Like that's, I mean, we yeah. we only had one day of filming, but if we could get enough interest and some, some help, we can make something more, right? So, yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're gonna wish you the best, brother. And, um, um, I'd like to, to drop this then like early Wednesday morning. So at least you can get some hits before you go in and uh, we'll push it really hard on Facebook yeah. and YouTube. And yeah. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> really great. Awesome. Awesome. Um, cool guys. Well, thank you. And I want to thank everybody who tuned in. Like we, we still have a lot of people on here, which is great. Thanks everybody. And uh, um, one, just a quick reminder, if you want to be uh, stay in touch, if you go to the little landing page that we sent you, which is films.hemmingshouse.com slash wild, that's a big one, you can put your email in it and then you're on the Willis list. Um, and that way we can send uh, emails out and whatnot. And uh, um, yeah, do that up and keep an eye out on, on Facebook and early next Wednesday morning, we're going to drop this bad boy. And, and uh, Awesome. Yeah. Willis, thanks, man. Uh, All right. Thanks, you guys. Good thank seeing you. y'all. Thanks, Fish. Yeah. Thanks, Kazowitz. Thank you, Fishman. Kazowitz. Thank you. All right. Thanks, later. Take Chris care. On here, though. All right. <laughs>